Thank you for calling Mike or Tell by Wyndham Atlanta Buckhead. This is Meredith. How may I help you? Hi, Meredith. Um, I need to see about getting a room. Um, I was told that I could, uh, I would be referred to your hotel if I was a patient at the Atlanta Center for Women's Choice. Yes, that qualifies for a hospital discount. Which date would you like to stay, ma'am? Um, I'm looking at the 16th of May. For how many nights? Maybe, well, probably two. Um, two. Yeah. What type of room are you looking for? One with one queen-size bed, two queen-size beds, or a suite? Um, what's the difference in price, like, for a suite? y'all get a lot of people from Atlanta Wind Center? Do you? I'm, I'm really nervous about this. Um, Can I put you on hold just for one moment, ma'am? Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for holding, ma'am. Yes, thank you. All right. For the, um, for the suite, which has one queen-size bed, a full-size sleeper sofa, and a dining area for two, with the hospital discount at $67.99 on Thursday and $73.59 on Friday for a total of $158.57. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I was expecting more than that. What's the rate normally? Normally? Hold on, let me... Sorry, in order to back out, it's... It's okay. It is $84.99 on Thursday and $91.99 on Friday normally. So with tax, it's $198.22. Okay. Okay. So y'all do give a decent discount for for um, patients. Yes. Okay. Um, now, I'm just curious because the lady at the clinic kind of creeped me out a little bit, but I don't want... Um, I mean, it's pretty private there. Well, I'm not understanding your question. I mean, um, I mean, y'all, y'all work with the hospital, um, or the doctor. Well, no, no, we just extend out discounts to patients that there's other types of hospitals mm -hmm. and the clinics around us, right. uh, you know, regular hospitals. So we just have a, a just a general discount. Okay. Okay, but now they told me that I wouldn't have to worry about, like, I mean, because I'm pretty far along with, okay. and they told me that I wouldn't have to worry about anything, like, if there was an emergency, um, it's very discreet there, is that? Oh, no, I mean, you don't have to worry about that, no, ma'am, not at all. Okay, not. I mean, because I'm... I'm just scared that, you know, if something happens and I'm in the hotel and, you know, I don't want to be freaking out, you know. Um, okay. Um, okay. So I just, I guess I'm just trying to compare, you know, what my options are as to like where I can stay. But when I'm there, is there a way to 
like not have to deal with you know other people who were having abortions or you know because they said that there's like a certain area where they take where y'all keep um your we guests. don't there's nothing on our the only way we have the only way that someone would know mm-hmm. that you're you're a patient is if they look at a specific rate code okay and it's not like worded it's just like a, a code itself so okay. other than no one would know you would just be another guest here at the property we don't seclude anyone from anybody else or anything like that Mm -hmm. um other than if you say i need to be on the first floor i want to be close to an elevator away from an elevator but you know outside of your specific uh uh, request for Mm -hmm. a room or type of room there's no way for any person here at the front desk any staff really staff other staff other than the front desk or any guests to know that you would be a patient at a hospital here okay okay Okay, and then um, given how far along I am, um, you know, I just, I've changed my mind about this and I can't go through with it, but I'm like near the end to where I can't do it anymore. Um, You know, if something were to happen, like at the hotel, um, because it's it's a two-day procedure. Okay. um, Like, how are y'all going to handle that if if something were to happen? Well, if there's a medical emergency... And doesn't matter what type of medical emergency it is, we mm-hmm. will call the to the paramedics, and they do respond very, very quickly. Okay. Do you have to do that often? Um, can I put you on hold for one more moment, ma'am? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for holding, ma'am. Yes. We have had a variety of medical emergencies here at the hotel. Uh-huh. Um, I can't say if it stemmed from a specific uh, patient. I don't remember one offhand, but medical emergencies do happen here at the hotel. Okay. Okay. I just wonder, you know, how am I going to deal with, like, cleanup? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, if there's anything that we can assist you with here at the front desk, we'll definitely be more than more than helpful trying to assist you in any way. Okay, okay. And when I come in, can I ask for, or are are you there like at any certain time? I don't want to talk to well, many my, people. My, I understand. My um, my schedule does change, so I, I don't know what my schedule is next week, for example. Not yet, at least. Okay, okay. So sometimes I work day, sometimes I work night. Okay, and who do I get? Who do I ask for, if, if possible? Well, it depends on whoever works that night. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, let me let me make a couple more calls, and okay. I'll probably give you a call back. Okay, and again, my name is Meredith. Okay. Okay, thanks, Meredith. You're welcome. All right, bye. <laughs> 